4 o'clock on a Tuesday morning, right after another edition of uh, Deep Space here in New York City at the uh, club called Cielo. And I'm Francois K. And um, just here with you right now, coming down from uh, an orgasmic mixture of all kinds of music. I still haven't quite figured out what was supposed to be called, but we're still working on that. <laughs> point about deep space is we try to provide people with an outlet that is broad that has a sense of musical freedom so maybe it was something that uh, when I started we were going to be five years old next month we're going to have our five-year anniversary and uh, maybe when we um, started out a lot of people were very shocked that uh, you know I would be playing in a style like what you saw because uh, juxtaposing you know drum and bass and uh, you know ballads and techno and uh, you know dubstep and you know experimental kind of electronic music and soulful things just it doesn't get done very often what's great about New York is that there's um, we obviously have a very rich past, a rich cultural heritage, which, uh, you know, when we're looking back at all the stuff that happened with jazz, all the stuff that happened with R&B and disco and, you know, even all those house music started in Chicago, there was, you know, quite a lot of that going on in the 80s and, you know, all the other things that uh, have taken place here in New York. And there's such a mixture of people, there's such an incredible you know the the usual thing that people talk about the melting pot and uh, I think it's happening here more than just about any other place I can think of there's a lot of great places all around you know everywhere in the world is fantastic fabulous places but I think the mixture of people here is what makes it so unique they're really absolutely devoted to music but it's not just one kind of people it's all kinds of people I thrive on it Talking about the uh, legendary clubs in New York and obviously how it might have changed since those things happened, I think that there are most of the basic things about clubbing haven't really changed all that much as far as how people react to it. However, there's um, something that has taken place over the last few years here in New York, which is what we call gentrification. and. Uh, the real estate values and everything has gone up so much that it's become really difficult for people to have a lot of big clubs like they used to. When you talk about some of those legendary places, it was a lot more about uh, you know underground and all the freaks come out and all those kinds of things. And they're still around, but it's not quite as many. So. Hey! 